Okay. Let me start. Yes.
session create a client for that. Right? Use a user client, the client means the connection to the server. What are the requirements for connecting to AWS? Is via Photo C two things. And that access key and secret key belong to a user. So when we tell you that we created one user, this is I am user of an I am S3 list user, right? So now that user wants to connect to AWS via file control. So when they can AWS control the access key and secret key. Okay, that now we don't want to put into the code. If you want to put it put that secret in the code, no. If you want to put it into uh, the config, no. If you want to put it into database, probably for right now, no. Can we use it as an environment variable? Yes, we can use, but it will be on a local machine. Okay. Can we use it in a vault? So yes, we can use in vault. I can also use the variable, but as a demand to make credentials. If I connect to my account, then I can use the environment variable. But I don't want to touch my wall. But here we have service account with the server. That I am user to service account, and that's why we want to use that. So we put that in the wall. So wall may store the negative in the chart here. First, we create a secret. Right? So secret may have the chart to use my access key, which is not secret. Right? And we add the value. Now, if you access the negative cash, you need the app role because code will access, not a user. Code is going to access that. So, this is the app role. So, this is the policy. The policy is the same as the software is the same as the software. Read access. Read access for the secret that is stored here. And then, after that, we got a role ID and secret ID. For that, it's the policy. It is the role ID and secret ID. Then we use that role ID and secret ID in file from file. So just my code execute so that's what will happen. It will first it will connect to wall using role ID and secret. Then it will authenticate and it fetch based on the ACL, it will fetch the credentials based on role ID and secret. Once it returns those credentials, we use those uh, access key and secret ID to connect to AWS. And then Whatever the permissions are given that I will, I am user, it will perform the action. Then uh, we do connection and connection to partner list and see the okay. yeah. Right? Understand the code? Can anybody now explain the code? Uh, okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is the we need one more time.
Okay, uh, our Snowflake account, I'm sharing my screen and our Snowflake account is active. Let me know once you're able to see the screen. Okay. So I created a new account because last account was 30 days trial and it expired. So I made a account and we just logged into it. So it comes with the default, some database already there. You can see uh, on data side, you see the database. Uh, there are two databases already there, the Snowflake, the default one and sample uh, database within which we have a different schemas into it. And Within that schema, we have different tables uh, around it. Let's say I choose this one and you'll see different tables given in other things in this database. Okay. So now, uh, what I showed this course yesterday, I'm the utils banayate. AWS util. Are you able to see this or do I need to change some theme of this? Are you able to see this? Is it readable? Okay, great. So now what we have is the AWS utils we have AWS connect here uh, by fetching the password from the vault. So we did both the things. We are here making the connections only. Okay. So I can put this into some class and uh, I can pass something like uh, if this is the S3, um, S3 service ko connect the right. If it's the EMR, we can say EMR service. So I want to make an utilities, which is reusable code and which can I, I can use in the jobs. Okay. So just let's restructure a little bit. So now uh, we created this as a class. Remember, we created Vault uh, client as a class. So what it is doing, it is creating a Vault connection and fetching the password. Right. What are the attributes? We are passing to it. We are passing uh, the role ID, secret ID, and secret path. Okay, and vault URL. So it doesn't matter. Agar ye vault URL change bhi hota hai, doesn't matter. It needs three parameters only. What? Uh, four parameters. Vault URL, role ID, secret ID, and secret path. And what it will return to you? It is going to. It has two methods which will return you two things. One is uh, the token and the token will be used again in a get secret. 
So and get secret will return you the response, the secret data. And you can parse that secret data responses. This response can be different based on uh, based on the values that you get back. Sometimes it can be a key value pair, sometimes it can be only just key. Okay. So that's why I, I make it global. So I'm flexible. Here, right. I don't want to pass the response here. The reason was Unicor sector, Yuki, AWS ka response alagoga, snow ka alagoga, maybe I choose something different, the response alagoga. So I will pass it separately in some utilities or in the job. Okay. I'll explain what I mean here. So that's why I just keep it. This code is perfect now and I keep it as it. Then go to the uh, AWS util. What we want to do in AWS util. Right now, let's see. Yeah. That's what I want to show you. 
please pay attention here. So this is my code. So यहाँ पे हमने pass किया vault URL, role ID, secret ID, secret pass, which is for AWS, and it is fetching the secret, and we are passing that access key and secret key. So हमने जो method बनाया था parsing मैंने उसमें क्यों नहीं नहीं लिखा vault utility में parsing क्यों नहीं लिखा? Because if I have to parse the separate different credential, then it will be uh, it will be not a generic code. I want to make it parameterized and parse it outside of utility. Utilities are generally the reusable code, right? So which minimizes this. So abstraction code is abstracted and you have just pass parameter outside it. So that's why I'm parsing, getting the response. I'm just calling this thing uh, authenticate method from vault util and second method get secret. Do method they will class pay. That's the do only I'm calling. And I'm passing the parameter. These are the four parameters I'm passing to it. I'm getting the response and I'm passing the response here. Okay. Hame vault se abhi secret ID and access key mil gaya. Correct? Now what's the next thing? Make a connection to AWS. So that's here. At the bottom, I'll remove this. Now that's here. Uh, we want to get it. So I use create a session. AWS session create around using go to team. So for session, it requires access key and secret key, which I already got from vault. Session to ban here. Now I want to create a client. So that's what it is doing here. Can you see this? It is creating a S3 client. Okay. Now it is just creating the S3 client only. What about EMR? So I have to make it a parameterized here to make it a parameterized so that I can, uh, if I pass the EMR, it will create an EMR client. I, I, one thing I can do, I can remove this thing all and put it into separate utility, or I can have a uh, client creation utility here also. Okay. Uh, I would prefer, and what is the return of this? A session is a return of this method now what i'm going to do i want to standardize this code also so may you remove the round and now you will ask me sir abhi standardize kar rahe, so how to do that dimag manchalao chat gpt hai just paste it ask him Tumme kya chahiye? it will give you the code okay and i i am telling you do it on the job also don't write a code just imagine just have in your mind the flow the way you want. Ask chat GP to give you the code and then modify based on what you get. It. Why I'm asking? Why to spend the time? First thing. Second thing, why to agar aap kuch code likho ke, then it will be uh, maybe not a good quality code. Okay. Now after a code likh hai, anything or it can be automated also. So in future, maybe two years from now, there won't be no coders. Agar chat GPT kar sakta hai, mujhe developer hire karne ki jarurat kya hai. But still, I will need a developer who will not write a code, who will design the code. And what we are learning here is designing the code. Right? Chat GPT automatically aapke liye vault ka chahiye structure aisa hona chahiye, aisa. It will not do. It will help you to write a code. It will not create the entire code for you. But it will help you. So developer will need it. So those albas after job profile change also. It won't be a coder writing, typing the code. It won't be like that. Okay. So understand the code flow, understand the logic, architect it, and then use it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just copy this. And ask Chat GPT to maybe uh, I don't want this. I am asking it create a Python class.
Okay, I'm just asking him to create a class for me uh, and include those two methods so that I can use it. The way we did in for the world. Vault ne kya kya class banaya and do methods banaya and we are it has some parameters and we are using that. So I think uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Read the code. AWS connector, right? It created the class for us. Uh, it initializes the variable, what variable it needs. It needs AWS access key, secret key, region, which is by default, it passed US this one. Okay. And it created a session, create session, and create S3 client. Okay. These are the two things it creates. The first one is a create session. It will create a session. Create S3 client. Here is the S3 client it's going to create for you. And at the bottom, it has given. So given how it can we can call it the class and method, which I don't write need right now. So I'll copy this directly. And now I am going to modify it the way I want. So I'm going to replace this. Okay. So AWS connector ka class banaya humne. Usme hum pass kare access key, secret key and region. Region by default mene US East one pass ki hai. Uh, so I think Boto3 we are calling at the top. So I'll remove this. Okay. Now what this is creating a session. So of course it will create a session. Now here it, it says create S3 client and returning the S3 client. But it will create only S3 because here is the parameter. I don't want it to create just for S3. I want uh, any client. Okay. So I will just say create AWS client. Okay. And I'm just changing the name of method and I'll say AWS client. Okay. Here, I'm going to pass the parameter to it now. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to pass the parameter. I need to have it defined somewhere. Okay. We have it uh, here. AWS client. Okay, good. Samaj mein aaya. So I have a AWS client, create AWS client method, which will create this variable, I mean the session, and will I need to change this to, AWS client. AWS client dot L sorry, sorry. Uh, just a minute, I think I can stop. Uh, I'm making it a AWS client connection. Okay, and this. Let's uh, do this. Create AWS client and here, I'm creating one more variable, cell dot.
ओके तो मैंने क्या किया आई पास द क्लाइंट एंड देन आई कैन यूज इट इन क्लास सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेव दिस सेव द एंटायर कोड नाउ टेस्ट दिस यूटिलिटी टेस्ट दिस क्लास कैन वी मेक अ कनेक्शन यूजिंग दिस वन ओके सो लेट्स डू अ टेस्टिंग ऑफ दिस Okay, I'm make, creating an AWS connector, initiating the class. I'm passing the access key, secret key, and region, and uh, the client I need to pass. So the client I'm passing as. Let's say ST. This is the client I'm passing. Okay, so let's see. कैन इट एंड मेथड नेम हमने चेंज किया है मेथड नेम हमने क्या चेंज किया है क्रिएट एडब्ल्यू एस क्लाइंट एडब्ल्यू एस कनेक्टर एस थ्री क्लाइंट की जगह पे हमने एडब्ल्यू एस क्लाइंट यूज किया है ओके एंड इट क्रिएट द एस थ्री क्लाइंट नाउ वी आर असाइनिंग टू इट एंड देन इट विल लिस्ट द बकेट लेट से रन दिस कोड आई एम गोइंग टू रन दिस पोजिशनल आर्ग्यूमेंट हमारे पोजिशन क्या था वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर रीजन डिफाइन किया है क्या पोजिशनल नॉट फॉलो सॉरी सॉरी आवाज नहीं आ रहा है आपको रीजन हमने यहाँ पे पास किया है यूएस पोजिशनल आर्ग्यूमेंट बोल रहा है वो की वर्ड पोजिशनल आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉलो okay so what we did here now we are able to make the connection to the vault uh, vault ka aaya hai and then it line number 56 in aws util it has a issue it was connector has no attribute aws client and aws underscore client line number 54 in the code name changes are it is okay ओके
we find line number one, line number 48, 48 pencil is to find that For this line, we find like a weird line. Line number fifty two. Name AWS client here. AWS connector dot client connection. AWS connector dot client connection. Line number fifty one, the connector has no connector has no
Okay, so here I just it was not taking the same name AWS client, so I just changed the name, the class to variable position and variable pass data. So client is here, and then I pass it separately outside of this. And by default, I think it's passing AWS. So now you can see it, it makes the connection to the vault, it fetch the credential. After the fetching the credential, it is also connected to the client the aws and whatever the client i pass to this method or the class it is connected so i'll just remove all those things now my uh, class is created the only parameter for it is so when i whenever i make it connection outside of this class what i need to do i just need to call this one aws connector and I'll just have to create a client. These are the two things I need to do. So I'll just comment this. Okay, so now this my usable components are created. So I have only need to do only these two lines or even let just to sake of printing, I'll just take this three lines. Okay, so maybe this is my job. And in this job, what I want to do, I want to do two things. My AWS to connect karna chata hu, vault to connect karna chata hu. This is my main program. This is my main program. Okay. So I need to call this class. So where it is where it's stored. So it is under from utils. dot where it is in AWS util import import AWS connector okay so it is imported now it needs the access key secret key client ID and region it will come from the vault right so I need to I have a second utility which we, I need to call is the vault utility. So I'll go here. Okay, this is my job one. So are you getting what we are trying to do? We are modularizing our code. So utils. So I'm passing the what URL, role ID, secret ID, and secret path. Based on that, it's making the vault connection, vault connection, con it is fetching the AWS. This is passing, a, I'm passing in a job. And then it is returning secret ID and everything. Now I want to make the connection to the S3. So I pass the S3 as a client, AWS connector class, uh, the AWS connector class is called, which will make it's a connection to the AWS. With this connection, I'm creating the client. Which client I'm creating? The client I'm creating the S3 client, which I pass to this uh, class. Okay. And then 
I got a response, and with this response, um, yes, I'm creating the list S3 bucket, calling the S3 bucket. Now, let's say uh, the user that we created will use the access, different access. Maybe, uh, let me see, we'll give one access instead of S3 service, we'll use a different service and see what's the outcome we get. Okay, let's go to log in to the console using uh, the root user. तो हम ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हैं सेपरेट क्यों कर रहे हैं कोड क्लास में टेस्ट कर रहे हैं सिंगल फाइल में कोड टेस्ट कर रहे हैं देन वी आर For compilation only, we just created those separate classes within those classes, the method, the execution will happen, the code will happen in the code. As a QCRA, because now this is a refined job. You can transform job may be used. You can just you just call only that line. Class call okay, method cost okay, that's it. So redundancy of your code will reduce and it's a modularized. अगर कोई बोलेगा अरे आपके वॉल्ट यूटिलिटी में इश्यू है जस्ट फिक्स इट इन दिस कोड एंड इट विल एप्लीकेबल टू ऑल द अदर कोड्स सो दैट्स हाउ इट विल हैपन ओके आई आई वेंट हियर एंड नाउ आई विल गो टू मैनेजमेंट कंसोल इन द मैनेजमेंट कंसोल आई लॉग इन विद द रूट यूजर रूट यूजर से लॉग इन करने के बाद विल यूज अ डिफरेंट सर्विस मे बी S3 के अलावा विल सी व्हिच सर्विस वी कैन यूज फॉर लिस्टिंग Okay, I logged in as the root user to the AWS account, or join the user banana PWS uh, list. Let's go on or access the listing the or access the. So let's go to IAM service. Okay, so I'll select the user, the user on the job Anayata yesterday. PW list user. Okay, and we'll give the access more access to this user. Now, 
give the access to the user, I'll add some policy here. Okay. So right now it just have list policy, list S3 policy. I'll just add a uh, permission. And I'm going to attach a policy to maybe I can add it into MIP as admin user. So all the access it will have, full access it will have. So instead, let me define the another access to it. Let's say, yeah, S3, I can give it the access, but apart from client, other client, I want to give the other client. Um, I am the account. Sorry. I am access the account to list some users or roles. Okay. I am full access the account to this user. Okay. So it can list the roles and other things. But I just want to give add permission. And I just want to get the photo three method for I am. Just say list may sorry S3 may list method where say I am K D A list user method. Then we create IAM session and then go to three and in go to three in documentation. I'll find out what is the method, list the rules or list the users. Okay. List where is the method? Okay. List groups or list list group let them. Okay, we'll get this method. Uh, We'll pass it to it. So, ye jo groups hai. User groups. How many user groups I have? Only one. So, it will list one user group only. Pehle, wo user ko access nahi tha. I am user has only access of what? List bucket. It does not have access to I am group. So, I copy this. And I'll, sorry, the client, right? Uh, so, okay, list groups. Now I'll go to my code. Okay, the connection to already have. So instead of this, I'll type I am. Client kya ho gaya? I am. Or client connection, connection bhi ho jayega. Response jo aayega, instead of here, I'll say I am client. And I'll say here, I am client. And the method I'll do is different list groups. Okay. And uh, any prefix marker I doesn't want, I can keep it blank. So I'll just remove this. Okay. And uh, just passing the response. Print. Okay, just it will, uh, and I'm going to run this. So it is making a connection to IAM, and it will, what happened? Uh, no more utils. Sign number two. Okay. 
Okay, the why this is happening? Why it is not able to get util? Utils model क्यों नहीं मिल रहा इसको? And why it was able to get inside the utils? Utils में जैसे AWS util है AWS util में हमने define किया था vault यहाँ पे नहीं था but previously we added why it was able to get it so here I think uh, let me add it uh, oh, sorry Let's see we need to define the base path for it because this code is executing from this job one job one location which is in refined job okay so that's why it is getting that uh you can make class like you can one more class if you be under the different yeah sorry one client AWS util PY may huh? No, ye, uh, this is the default value we pass, but we can override that value. Can override. Or we can just remove this from here, and by default, it will take that client. Anything is fine. Uh, so let me just get it here. Under the utility, let me set the path for this. There is one thing uh, we need to go to that directory and run the code from there. So this is the directory from main it can be run main.py because it's in different directory python path we can give it. Yeah, this is the thing I'm going to add. Okay, so it will, there is other way also. So what we are defining here, uh, we are defining the path in courses. And path to it is Then I have utils. Let's go here. And this will also go here. Okay, now I'm running this the code.
utils not able to carry yes utils yep util correct with the o oh, uh, src analytics and then src Like jobs many here, utils is here. Let me see the part of this. Job one. Utils, SRC, analytics. For space, we do use no flag demo. Yes, yes, run one more time. Still, it's not found. Yeah. Uh, no, it is in refined job only. It's not going to AWS today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. No problem here is it's not able to find that module. That's the problem. So it is because the position of that. Uh, let me figure and get the position of the utils. Jobs. So this is the correct one, dot, dot. So we are asking it to go to uh, project root and from project root. This should work by And under the utils, we have init, right? They mentioned we should have init. So initialization is already there. And OK, dot dot init is there. And just the import job file. One level up. 
Oh, it's going in the jaw. So we are at job level. If you go dot dot, it goes one level up, and we need to add a head term. Let me just put it at a job level. See. Here it's able to call it. So I'm making SRC utility dog bridges utility. Not able to add. let me use a bash.
What happened? Python can't open the file. SRC capital jobs, SRC jobs, refine jobs, job one dot file. और
I'm resharing the screen. Let me know once you're able to see the screen. I see the mark. I think it's a placement issue. the python So if you are looking at I I what it needs to have that utils needs to be in Python path, right? So I just print the Python path, and if I see that the refine job is there because that from that's where the job the code is executed. Second, it has uh the DDL Python DDL is another thing. Uh, it also has site packages. It also has uh this thing. But it does not have it does not have the path that we append. So what I said, um, append the path. This is the path I want to append, and let me change it to. Okay, I'll make this change to PowerShell path. Anyhow, we need the utils path there. So I'll copy and change this path to utils one. Any question? No. So I'm changing this path to the 
so that we can add it. I added double code, double slash, workspace, this one, uh, no demo, BW, this one, retail analytics, and then I have the SRC, okay? And the jobs, instead of this, I want, let, let's see utils that, SRC that are there, does it need? Okay, so that it can get it. Now, save this, and I also want to print the path after it is create, created. Are you able to see the screen? Okay. So I in SRC I added the path which is util. Okay, I'll run one more time to pick it the path. Okay, the path is there already, but it's still not resolved. Line number nine. Still says the module path, no module util. Okay, let me see what is the issue. Utils, our utils say init file. Hai. This shows the structure correct. Our structure is correct. Includes the necessary Python file. Yes. Util is inside the source folder. Yes. Sorry. Project inside the project. No, project SRC utils. Oh, and where it's showing the search at the SRC, outside of SRC level, utils, okay. So one level up should work.
Project uh, structure doesn't matter if you put it inside. Here. I just moved it here. Doesn't matter. Matlab, hum source mein rakhe ya utils outside rakhe. For us, as a project, doesn't matter. But it should compile. So, source and utils have. Then you have this two, the job one, refine, then you can it's just simply say you can call it, right? So, let's say I put, I have right now the SRC. And then utilities outside of SRC. And I have this inside the job in refined job. So I have util sets outside and just I think this model will be compiled getting the error for job one job one code so if you see it is there so Workspace, Rainwork, Snowflake Demo, BW, DS, Retail Analytics, and again in Utils, which we added, it's still there. So as a package, it should read it. I'll try to find out, but if I move this code, job one code under the util, it will work. If I move this code,
So I'll move that code and model the configuration. Uh, placing of that module is different, either including Python part or either make it a module wise or add in variable, just like we did that. We see that. But right now, just to make the code run and make sure we are able to run it, uh, you can see that it is able to fetch the credentials from what. It listed the S3 bucket or because we had the S3 there. But the other method where we pass is S3. The connection that we had is IM groups. So where is the print that is coming? Yeah. Can you see this? It is also listed the IM groups. So now that user created the IM client and IM client is listing that. Uh, just before that, it is also doing the S3 bucket. Is it, it is because maybe the code in AWS util is doing that. Yeah, so it is, it ran this also. So I'm going to comment this. So S3 it will just list the IM role because we are passing the IM only. Can you see this? And in this method, the of AWS utils may have the S3 pass here. Why? I mean it's a default. Agar client pass me here, so it will list the S3, make the connection to S3. If I pass the client as IAM, so it will use the IAM as a client, make the connection to the IAM. It's a much match. same user, same role ID, split ID based on the I am role and user, it will make the connection to the service. So we can make the service connection to AWS and make the client for any service. So service like EMR, service like EC2, service like S3, or Clue job also. You can also trigger the Clue job. Okay. So that's how it will work. For right now, I'll just keep the code here. Once I fix that issue, I'll move the code to the under the job location. Okay, now. No, it's not necessary. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, now, uh, as we are here, let's make the connection to the snowflake now you also we also have the snow utils so make the connection to the snowflake which is important uh so let's go back to the snowflake what we have in the snowflake we got the credentials we got the username and we want to store into the vault so let's go to vault uh, i think the vault i am running still there yes it's still there Okay, I have this as a root token. Login as a root user. Now you tell me uh, how I can store the credential for no place. So how can store the credential? Secrets. Okay, now what is next? No, user is app, app user will give the access later. So first store the secret. There is a snow. In the snow, I think we already did that yesterday. So BW so, uh, snow service user name dev. So we already have it. Just edit this. To edit, we need to create a new version. 
and here i'm going to store the password username for this uh, so the username that i got in the email this one okay just see is the correct yep and i'll type a password And I'll just show the password. So this was the password for the service user password. So I'm going to save this. Now, why it create a version in Vault? When you edit or something, it cannot edit it. It created the version. So two versions. So it will give you your password has changed this time. And then out of these two versions, one will be the default version. You can see that this is the current version. Case always will use the current version. Now we just connect it to the wall. I'll go to the snow utils to make the connection. So in order to make the connection, we need a package. Just yeah. like we AWS to connect it, so which package you use here? Photo stream. Similarly, in order to connect to the Snowflake, there is a package in Python that we have to use the Snow Connector. Let's install that package. the python snowflake connector and we need to install that how do we install it using pip what is pip package management system what are the other system you know package management system does anybody know other system not for python but unix linux anaconda any So those are packages. I mean, those manages the package. APT get Unix Linux. Pe mujhe kuch install karna hai. So use the APT get. So for, in order to connect to Python, uh, there is a package that we'll have to install. So it's a Snowflake connector. Python is the name of the package. So I'll copy it and we'll install it on our system. Okay, pip install snowflake connector python and it will install. It's on my system, it is already there. Can you try to install on your system? Let me ping this uh, command to you on chat. Okay, install this one. Pip install snowflake connector python. It will get installed. Now use this in order to connect to uh, Snowflake, okay? Mm -hmm. So first we will make a connection to the Snowflake and then we'll submit the query. So just get the code for that. Okay, it will give you the code in order to connect to Python. Sorry, from Python to the Snowflake. Now, use code may I'll just copy this. Okay, I'll go to the utilities that we are building, which is the Snow Util. Okay, now I'll go on the top. You can see that it is calling. It is calling the package Snowflake Connector. Snowflake dot connector is the package it is calling, and it needs account ID, user ID, password, warehouse, database, and schema. These are the things it needed. Okay. Of course, we are not going to store the password in the uh, files. We'll fetch it from the vault. So now we need to make a class 
again the utility class where it can access so a user b user c user hai. so they don't should, should not have a separate code they should use the same code a utility method usable code that's what we'll do and then it's just a simple just like a boto3 import boto3 and then you say uh session you create a session from a w session you pass a secret can access is the same like that so we will create a class out of this uh, and you can see the snowflake class in that it is the connector and in the connector the method is the connect that method has these arguments once you pass the argument it creates this connection and then you create a cursor just to pass some queries out of that so you are using a cursor making creating a blank cursor and then executing the cursor with this query we don't want to put it inside the utility because our query will change we'll create a two method maybe in this class one is for connection second is for query execution okay so that's what we'll do i'll i'm not going to write a code i'm going to instruct chat gpt to write the code for me okay. Okay, I just asked to create a class and that reusable class will use. No, once you, I would, what I want you to create this, once you get access to this report, make the close for yourself. After a very big problem, you are perfect with our way and someone assigned the room. Task for you to make the connection to this method. You don't have to search on chat GPT, you don't have to write your code, just go to this git repository, get the code, copy it, change it, that is done. And other apke boss to pata chala, he apne just minute me code kardia, he will be very happy. Right? So, not just for this, any project may, when you work on any project, keep your things handy. So, so you can refer it and use it. Even small document, keep it for yourself. So once you want to refer, you can refer it. Don't copy the code directly from your system to the gate. Otherwise, go catch hoga. You can just create simply snippet of code just for reference. Agar wo work nahi ho hai, that is fine, but you will have some reference because everything you cannot keep in the mind. Okay. So I got the class create ho gaye yaha pe and we'll use this class. So you can see that it created Snowflake connector class. Within the Snowflake connector class, it has a connect method and execute query method and the close connection, which is good. We also don't want to keep the connection open multiple times. We want to close the connections also. So it has created three methods in that class. Let's copy this and then try out it. Okay, I have this no util. Are you able to see my screen? Okay, I'll explain this and then uh, this will cover our Snowflake uh, connection. I think we did it when we connected last time, right? So only difference kya hoga? Ye account, username and password, we will fetch it from the vault. We will not fetch it directly here. So yaha pe connection hai. If the parameters are account, user, password, warehouse, database, and schema. Okay, so all are initialized here. There is a method inside this class, which is the connect method, uh, which is making the connection using the connect uh, Snowflake connector uh, and passing this all parameters to it. It's creating the cursor, um, initializing that cursor. Okay, so that's okay. If I go down, it is making the connect only. Uh, is there any return? There is no return for this method. Then we have execute query. Okay. 
execute query what it is doing, taking the connection that we created in the previous uh, thing, it is using that connection, using that connection and the cursor. Um, okay, if, if it's not, then it is saying it's showing an error. The connection not established to call the connect method. So it will throw an error. If there is a successful con connection, you pass the query and it will execute the query and put the result into the cursor for it. And then connect closing the connection. That's what it's doing. Okay, that's good. Now here it is calling. Then you need to pass your account. Okay. Where is my account ID? Snowflake account ID, where I can get it. So if you go to the Snowflake, here you see the, your account ID. Here is the information. You can get it. Uh, WX. Yeah, I have different accounts. This one for uh, R margin. This is for these are the different accounts it showed here. But the one that we use is this one. This is the organization and you can copy uh, the organization or account IDs. I copied the URL and this is the URL of my account. Okay. This is the URL of my account. I'm going to paste it. For right now, just to show, I'm going to put it hard-coded value, username. What is my R Mahajan is a username. Okay, then password uh, for right now, I'm just hard coding it. We'll replace it. This is my password. Now see the warehouse. Do we have any warehouse? Let's, if not, we'll create a warehouse. Uh, let's see. Okay. Probably, yes, we have compute WH warehouse, which is in suspended state. This is my warehouse name. What is my database? The database that I want to access is Snowflake sample schema. Sample data is the database I want to access. Okay, I have it. What schema you want to access? Let's say the schema I want to access. Okay. And what is, so every parameter is fulfilled. Now, what is the query you want to execute? The query I want to execute is maybe the region or how many number of rows are there. Supplier. Select star from supplier. And this is the query result. It is re returning. I'm just going to save this and running this code. Getting some error. Let's see what that is. It failed to establish the connection. Okay. 
Can I line number seventy two? Yes. Yes. HTTPS. It is HTTP. So, sorry. Fifty HTTP. There is one. Okay, fail to I'm going to push the code to the gate. Probably my laptop has the network uh, blocker, so I'm accessing this thing. So the code sometimes does not work. I think we faced this issue when we tried to make a connection, right? It last time, it never worked on my laptop. Just try to work on your laptop. Sorry, not working. Let me push this code to the gate so that you can fetch this. How do I push the code? So now I want to see what code I have changed. What command I should run? Git status. Okay. So these are the code changes. Now, what is the next I should do? Git add. Let me add all the code. Then what I need to do? Git commit. Or just before that, just want to show the status. It will say there are the things now stage. So we need to push it. So git commit. And remember, we I'm pushing the code now. I already did a git add. So the code likha tha, password likha tha. The password is already there now in the git. Even if I try to delete, it will be already there. So adding AWS util and snow utils. So git commit. Now what I need to do? Does the code is at local or the remote? Code kaha pe abhi? Local. So I need to push it to remote. Hit push. So the code is available here now on feature branch. You'll see. So here is the branches, and there is the feature branch. In the feature branch, the code is at this location. Oh, git push is not done yet. Now it, it's done. Git push complete. Why? 
so it is old now i'm going to refresh it's a two days back or 20 hour old, old push that happened i'm going to refresh right now so this utility is added now so abhi humne dekha ki tino utilities humne bana di vault utils snow utils now you can extend these utilities to make the connection and you can execute multiple queries now this code is not modularized matlab so but we can do it we can just remove this and add it in a separate code hamara job code hai usme le sakte hain and then from there we can execute this account id or even username and password we can fetch again from the vault and then that's how in the job code everything will be it will just call our utilities all the utilities that we have okay now uh, we have i'm just going to remove this and make this as only a utility so remove this from here and we have the job one i'm just going to put it into the job one okay and in this job one now can you tell me i want to let's say i just want to keep the hard coded values for account for right now uh, we will see some of the information jo uh, password nahi hai but it is parameterized parameterized information that generally stored on the config file json config file usme rakhta hai so for right now but username and password i want to fetch it or even this two information i want to fetch it from vault what i should do can anybody tell mujhe ye do cheeze vault se fetch karni hai how i should fetch this yes yes so what i'll do i already know the methods right i'll go and copy those two methods uh ओके आई थिंक टोकन इज ऑलरेडी देयर टोकन हमारे पास ऑलरेडी है आई गेट दिस सीक्रेट टोकन एंड सीक्रेट डेटा वेयर इज माय सीक्रेट डेटा तो कनेक्शन हो गया यहां पे एंड सीक्रेट डेटा ओ नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस दिस थिंग्स विल बी डिफरेंट द सीक्रेट पाथ विल बी डिफरेंट सीक्रेट पाथ वॉल्ट क्लाइंट जो है मैं फिर से क्लाइंट कनेक्शन बनाऊंगा एंड टोकन ये दो मेथड मैं कॉल करूंगा एक्चुअली आई जस्ट यूज ऑल दिस थ्री ओके एंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू कॉल इट हियर so making a connection to the vault again now my secret path will change what will be my secret path no okay so isse connection ho jayega isse wo fetch bhi karega fetch karne ke baad i want a secret data to be generated secret data bhi fetch ho jayega but here instead of aws which this b bw aws access key hyphen dev i will use this one this is my user and i need a password also copy this and this is my password and i'm going to assign this value to whom to user on password okay rest is the same ओके यहाँ पे यूजर है एंड आई नीड टू गेट द इम्पोर्ट ऑफ दिस मेथड द कनेक्टर स्नो कनेक्टर जॉब वन यूटिल्स में से मुझे स्नो यूटिल कॉल करना पड़ेगा 
from no snowflake no util import what is the method name uh, no connector okay which is being used at the bottom okay that's it and it's making a connection and from connection it is using the connect method from connect method uh, we are passing the query query also you can parameterize right right now i hard coded the query query whatever you want you can parameterize this query and run it when it will run it will return the result now if i run this entire code so what the code is doing connecting to vault fetching credential for aws making connection to aws listing the im rows it is also fetching the password for snowflake and it's connecting to the snowflake executing query on snowflake and displaying the result here so it's the entire code that execution is happening will resolve this error uh, the connection or another thing but in the job in the job one we are doing all those things okay i'll do git commit here Okay, I also push this to the snowflake. Now, the next job, let's say this job one, job two, job three, you can create multiple job or job name, same regular. The one thing we forgot now, after making the connection, we also want to close the connection. Yeah, we all have. We have the close connection also. Once you execute the query, we don't want the connection to be there. Other connection, so let's say idle time. So if the connection is idle for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, then terminate the connection by default property right now. But thousand people are just making the connection, executing query and keeping the connection open. There will be a lot of connections and performance may impact yoga. So better make the connection, execute query and terminate the connection. That's the best way we can do. Okay. So do you get any idea now? technical data, but where exactly it's being used? This is the foundation, foundation, technical foundation component. Now you will see where it all get connected. So we have yesterday we we saw the project diagram. Okay, so we have a foundation, so we kit, we connections, so we can connect to Snowflake. Now, we have a connection, sorry, AWS connection. Now, you build your job, new job. Now, new job, what new job does? New job reads the data from S3, it loads the data into, let's say, uh, we find the data and loads into the refine table. So how do I trigger the glue job? 
So you can trigger it from Airflow or you can trigger it from Python code. Does anybody know about Airflow? Airflow is the orchestration tool that brings you to orchestration. Matlab kya? Kaun sa job kab execute hona chahiye? Ye job hone ke baad next job kaun sa hai? It is it shows the flow to you. Okay, that's the orchestration. So usme DAG rehta hai, and then DAG has a task. DAG is nothing but a flow. Within the flow, you have different tasks, and each task is something like. Execute job one, job two, job three, make connection, send email in case of failure. That are such some things that are there. So Airflow is being used for the orchestration purpose. Now you know how to make the connection to AWS. Now you can also trigger the blue job using the Python code. How do you do it? The foundation is ready for us. We have foundation ready to make the connection. Yes, create a glue client and call the method to trigger the job. Job will execute. Okay. And then you will get a response. And it's an asynchronous call. So what happens once you submit the job, you get a response saying that job is submitted. I want to check the status of the job. You can periodically check the status. There is an API which you can use to check the status of the job. API meaning Boto C say up if you already have a client. There is a method which can check the status of the job. Okay. So in the project, we are going to we'll split into the phases, like uh, Jesse key triggering a blue job uh, from your Python code and checking the status of the code, that sort of things we can do. Okay. So let me uh, and Snowflake also we saw you can submit some queries on the Snowflake from the Python code or from the blue job also you can submit the queries to be executed on the blue job on the Snowflake from the blue job. Okay. Uh, we'll stop for lunch here and then after lunch we'll continue with the Snowflake and modifying some of these utilities. Okay. Any issues? Which difficulty are you? Samajh bhi Process kya hai? Any difficulty? Yes, no. Yes. Issue have? No. Yes or no? I'll tell you one story. Uh, one joke so that you can make it. Aap batao, mother is great or teacher is great? Teacher, why? If mother is singing, uh, but when teacher started talking, everybody is sleep, right? So lunch ke baad wo hone wala hai. Okay. Okay, so we'll meet after the lunch and for mostly the QA session related to project, and we'll continue after that.